Breaker video on uh, the portable antenna pole, the portable antenna mast. And as, as you can probably tell by the video, I don't know if you can actually hear me or not, it is uh, very, very windy up here at the moment, uh, up in Galloway again. And uh, I was going to uh, show you the uh, antenna mast I've been using up here. It's a three section decorator's pole. It's got it secured to this fence post here. It's not fully extended at the moment. It's about six inches short on each section. There's uh, two locking screws to lock the sections into place. And at the top there, I just packed it out with a piece of wood uh, just so that the uh, new bolts will bite on the uh, on the pole. so it packs up quite easily. Um, quite, you can see there I've got the uh, little bit of insulating tape around the antenna. That's so I can put the tube from the bottom of the antenna over the antenna for packing away just to make it sure. And it's uh, packed up. Folds down to about a metre. Uh, all packs up nice and neat. One thing I would suggest if you're using one of these is in the handle just cut a little hole to allow the uh, the water to drain out of it because the water can get in through the uh, through the joints there and it does tend to fill up a little bit with uh, with water if the weather's been bad. So just a little drainage hole will uh, we'll sort that problem out. But uh, there you go, that's, uh, that's the antenna pole I'm using for 2 metres and uh, 70 cents up here. So I uh, hope you found that useful. If you're looking for uh, lightweight, easily transportable, and uh, rugged antenna mast then uh, I would highly recommend a decorator's pole they work extremely well so I hope you found that useful and I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next video bye for now Thank mm -hmm. you.